good, whatever your time zone is. I hope you're having a good whatever your time zone is. But enough the introductions though, because what we've got served on the slice of life today is Pierre Polyev had breakfast with Trudeau, and we're going to react to it because I'm definitely curious as to what is going to happen here. But uh, before I hit play, I want to speculate here as to what this is all about. Because my first thoughts are that this is possibly satire, and my reasoning for thinking that is is admittedly because I'm a very self-conscious person, and I could just never imagine myself videotaping me eating food for the entire world to see. I, I would just be thinking that I'm being gawked at. But my other reason for thinking so is because I can't really imagine Trudeau having breakfast at a quaint little diner. I might be biased because of the airplane bill situation, but after learning of that bill, I just can't imagine him doing normal people things. I'd expect Trudeau to be like one of those people with a fork up their ass as they eat peas with a knife and fork. So I, I just can't really see him doing this, but let us get into it. Oh, Justin, you're awake. You made it. Have a seat. Have a coffee. You need some. Wakey, wakey time. Thanks very much for taking my invitation to have a little breakfast. I know you're just back from your vacation in Costa Rica. And there's a few things you might not have noticed while you were gone. Starting with the price of coffee, it's up 14% in one year. Not just coffee, Justin. Bacon is up 8%. Milk to put in your coffee, it's up 7%. Bread, bread's up 15%. And the butter on the bread, that's up 17%, Justin. Eggs, up 16%. So, the average Canadian can't even dream of going on a vacation right now to Costa Rica. They're just dreaming about, well, affording food. In okay, uh, well, just for some info, this video is like a year old, so it isn't a current date travel to Costa Rica. Though, it would appear that this is satire, but is used to still point out something important within Canadians of today. I, uh, I can't, I can't speak for everyone, but I would have to say that if I didn't notice the increase in food prices, my wallet sure did. Everything is so stupidly expensive nowadays. Prices go up, but the paycheck always comes out being a little drier every year. I don't even spend money for fun things anymore. Just work and more work. And, and then on top of that, I'm young. I'm meant to be out trying to date, but I just don't have money for that. Heck, I don't even have money to take myself anywhere special. I mean, hey, let me know down below. But when was the last time you used your money to enjoy something special? But, uh, let us continue. In fact, there's a poll out, Justin, you might find interesting. About a quarter of Canadians are now borrowing money just for essentials like eating. Justin, can you imagine taking out a loan so that you can eat? Remember when you said that you were borrowing money so that Canadians didn't have to? Well, now Canadians are borrowing up a storm because they can't afford the higher prices that you've, imp you've imposed on them, right? You know, it's called inflation or just inflation. I like to put your name in there because it gets your attention. Here's how it happens. You print money to pay for your deficits. $400 billion. You increase the money supply in our economy by about 20% in two years. More money chasing fewer goods, that equals higher prices. Let me break it down for you. Imagine there's an economy with 10, lo 10 pieces of bread and $10. Well, it would be $1 for each piece of bread. If you double the number of dollars, Justin, to 20, you don't get twice as rich. It's just that $20 to buy 10 pieces of bread is now $2 for each piece. In other words, you've doubled the price by doubling the money. Well, that's what happens when you create cash without creating the stuff that cash buys. I mean, eh, that's a pretty good summation of what Trudeau is doing to everyone. To pay off his own deficits, he's making us all go broke just to make himself look clean. Of, of course, everyone else suffers, but at least a millionaire looks cleaner. Am I right? 
And then, rather than being a grown up and not spending ludicrous amounts of money so that common people, like myself, can actually earn a wage that makes them happy to breathe, he would rather continue to drown us all out. And who gets hurt from this? Poor people and the middle income bracket. I would actually say that taxing the rich has ended up with everyone who is already broke becoming more broke, especially under Trudeau. And here's why. Trudeau taxes the rich more, and then Trudeau being the prime minister collects more money, and then he spends an inequitable amount of money per what he collects from the rich people, and then after creating another deficit from that spending, Trudeau then ups the prices on everything to cover it. So taxing the rich has done nothing but make more broke people in the end. But hey, we've got free healthcare and a growing number of overdoses in the poor community. But hey, that's just a little nothing burger, right? We've got free healthcare so that we can for really admit that someone passed away from taking substances. What a beautiful life it sure is living in Canada. Rich people have higher taxes, which then turns more broke people into poor people, and then a good number of those poor people then take substances, which end them up with passing away, and then for really being admitted a time of passing. Why have a maid when you could just install Trudeau as your prime minister? Am I right? Uh, anyways, uh, if you want to change Canada to become the great country that it is, then we all need to make a serious push in getting Trudeau out by voting conservative. And yes, it is just that simple. We all vote conservative, Trudeau gets the f out of where he doesn't belong, that being a position of power, and then we elect some common sense into office, and it'll all be more manageable than with a liberal party in power. And if you agree with trying to make Canada great again, then hit that like button. And if you want to listen to more daily news, then hit that subscribe button to join an independent conservative piece of YouTube media that talks about stuff going on all over North America. Either way though, I hope to see you tomorrow. But until then, have a good one. <laughs>